What's happening everybody? Polly here. I'm with the girl with the sawfish tattoo uh, in the office review. Episode 7, Season 1 of One Piece. And uh, let's read the description from, uh, this time it's from IMDB. Garp is one step away from finding Luffy as he arrives at Barate. Luffy and the boys all travel to Cook Village. In an attempt to find the estranged and distraught Nami, they meet a villager that has a dark and painful history with her. Okay, so incredible episode. And let me tell you why. When you raise the stakes of the characters that we are interested in, you have a great payoff. You have a great connection uh, that's created between the characters and the audience. And that, my friends, is what great storytelling is all about. The last of the regulars that whose story we did not know, she, for I would say six episodes, right? Very successful at keeping her distance uh, emotionally to the to Luffy and the group as far as becoming those those uh, trustworthy friends and uh, in friends that she could she could uh, really bond with and you're always wondering why well, what was her thing well her the stakes are that one spoilers guys she was an orphan her and uh, I assume is another little girl, maybe her sister, and that's not really clear, but they were orphaned together. A female soldier finds them, helps raise them. And incredible backstory, kind of like that one of Sanji as far as uh, uh, being told, even though this was kind of told throughout the episode, the story with the mom, and there is a kind of a, a horrific uh, uh, tragedy that happens with the mom. So... She takes a deep tragedy and tries to save her village. That's Nami's purpose. And it really all makes sense as to why she was this way and so stoic, so resolute about what she had to do and the deal that she had with Arlo. And uh, man, uh, fantastic, uh, fantastic uh, episode. And it sets up sets up the final episode of the season so well i mean i i i, I want, i'm glad i'm doing this i want to make it quick because i want to watch the final episode <laughs> um so without without heavy spoilers on this right i told you what her backstory what her tragedy is and what what's her it it's it's her main it's her main motive into everything that she has done as far as searching and finding maps we find out that she's got a pension as a little kid for writing maps that uh, arlo and the, and the fish people love so you know when you're motivated that deep from 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 a kid all the way to growing up you have this one single purpose of saving your village you're gonna buy the village back from arlo it's heavy man and even the the lure of real friendship and real like that 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 loving bond between people and friends that Luffy and them offer, she even that she resists until the end of this episode. And until the this this ending of the episode was so beautifully done, was so powerful with Luffy and the friends coming to her aid and getting ready to kick some butt. But uh just just how Luffy just doesn't give up on his friends. It's just so beautiful. Uh, incredible uh, lessons here, guys, of uh, of friendship, but also to sacrifice f for your family, for your village. And um, yeah, uh, you know, what makes this an incredible show is that now everything, every character is layered. Every character you know something about. And every character is being interwoven back and forth through the story, and you're just along for the ride. It's masterful. Uh, this is a uh, well nine out of ten. I was still blown, very much blown away by the episode before nine nine point five out of ten. But this is a uh, 
Yeah, this is high caliber. This is high caliber storytelling and uh, all the elements of production from acting, directing, cinematography, um, costumes. Uh, it's all working. It's all working. And it's such a wonderful thing to see when, when, when you see a show working on every level. I mean, there is not one thing that I can complain about. There is not one thing that I can can say that, uh, you know, as a viewer. Now, I'm not I'm not coming at this at all as an anime fan, as anything of that fa that nature. I am not one. I'm not not against it. I'm just saying I've never been an anime fan. I'm coming to this as a pure fan of great storytelling, and I have not been disappointed. I am so impressed and. The girl with the sawfish tattoo uh, came through. Came through and it was wonderful to see her story. Got, we got one more. Check out all our other reviews as well on episode, on season one of One Piece. My name is Polly. And wherever you're at, keep your slam fuerte. From the office. See you next time. Bye.